Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be working on my new plant display is what I'm going to call it. Um, if you watched my last vlog, you would have seen me pick up this big glass cabinet. It's kind of like those like Ikea cabinets that you see everywhere, um, but it's not. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm going to sort of start setting that up today. Yeah, so there's still a few things I want to get for it. I'm still not 100% sure on how I want to actually like lay it out. Um, I don't know whether I want to use the glass shelves it came with or I want to replace them with like some wire racking shelves. Um, but today, basically, all I'm going to be doing is giving it a good clean and I'm going to explain what I am doing with the base. So... Without me rambling on too much, let's just get stuck in. So basically what I am wanting to do this morning is, because I'm hoping, well I'm going to set this up so it holds a lot of humidity in it, and I don't want this like chip fake board to get um, like waterlogged, especially down where the glass sits into the wood because it is um, exposed chipboard so it doesn't have any of this white plastic covering on it. So what I'm going to do is I have this EVA foam which is a closed cell foam so it doesn't absorb any moisture um, and it's actually a really good insulator so it's going to help keep the base like warm, well not warm but it's going to stop the cold air from underneath coming up and sitting on the plant so I cut this to size this morning and it fits in here nice and snug and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it down to the wood using a clear silicon and then I'm going to seal around all the three sides obviously I'm not going to seal the front because the door is going to be opening and closing but yeah I'm going to seal all around the three sides and make sure this is glued in nice and snug I'm going to cut it around all the little latches and things like that, but yeah, that is today's job, which I'm going to do, but first I really need to give it a good clean because it is very dusty and dirty, make sure it's clean, make sure it's dry, and then I can glue this in. Um, I'm still not, let's turn you up, oh, this is a good angle, um, I'm still not too sure whether I want to have a heat pad in here. Um, I do have like a little square heat pad which I'm kind of thinking I might use in there but I will just see how I go obviously yeah I don't know um, heat pad is a maybe and there's going to be no humidifier in there either I'm, I don't have one in my tank and I definitely don't need one in there so I'm hoping I can do the same for this another thing I want to do to help seal it when the doors are closed, there is a like a finger width gap here on both sides. Um, now, at my parents' work, they sell a shower door seal, which is just like a clear plastic U-channel that clips onto the glass. And then it has like a clear silicon flap, which I am going to use to sort of sit up against here. And that will seal that gap and I'm going to do it for the same on the other side here. I think that's going to work really well to seal the doors. Um, not sure if I'm going to do it at the top and the bottom because I do want a little bit of airflow through there so I might just leave the top and the bottom gaps because they're only very very small. Um, yeah lots, still lots of thinking. I'm kind of one of those people that sort of like plan things as we get go so I'm not like too set on my ideas, I'm just going to see how everything goes and yeah, I'm really, really excited. So, I'm going to clean it and then I'm going to glue this in. It is a new day. We are in lockdown in New Zealand and I am going to be working on my glass cabinet for my plants. So I'm in our shed and I found these white wire shelves that I'm going to be cutting down to fit in the cabinet because I don't really want to use the glass. I want there to be a nice airflow through the cabinet so I thought the wire 
shelves would be good and because we're in lockdown I can't go shopping so I'm using what I can don't mind my eyeballs I have some really bad allergies at the moment to all the pollen that's around so just don't look too close okay so I'm going to I've taken them inside I've marked where I want to cut and I'm gonna try and cut them with this um, if this doesn't work I will get my partner to use his grinder but we shall see let's do this <laughs> I probably realized I shouldn't have the camera on the saw horses because it's just shaking around, but you get the idea. Like it's doing it, but not easily. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there we go. There we go. I've upgraded. <laughs> this one um, is going to take too long. So, we shall try this beast. I have one cut out. <laughs> uh, that was a little bit harder than I thought. I had to go back to the little one to cut these off. But one shelf done, one to go. I'm cutting two. I'm probably only going to use one, but I'm cutting two just in case. Um, because I might put a shelf right up the top for small plants and then one sort of in the middle. <sighs> but I shall see. And I don't know how well you can see, but... These are pretty jagged, so I'm going to file these down as well. And yeah, I'm going to cut the other one out now. Looking hot and fresh. So that was my workout for the day. Um, but I have my two shelves. I have filed all the sharp edges down. Now I probably should like paint the cut ends to seal them because obviously it's going to be in a glass cabinet, which is going to have quite a lot of humidity in it and it will probably rust. Um... I might have some clear spray paint that I might just spray on. I'm not too particular. If they rust, I'll just take them out and, I don't know, swap them out, paint them, do something. So yeah, I'm probably going to just spray and seal the ends and then I will go and put them inside the cabinet. <laughs> Ooh. I look atrocious, I know. I don't have the time nor the energy to put any effort into this so this is what we're working with um i've just put my baby down to sleep so hopefully he naps for at least an hour so i can get on to doing my glass shelf now it's not gonna live here it is gonna live here where my plant tank is um i've sold my tank so i'm replacing it with the cabinet um i'm gonna see how much i can get done while he naps and try and be as quiet as possible so how the sh how the cabinet is going to look is probably not going to be like the complete look it'll just be like a temporary fix so I can move all this stuff so yeah I'm going to go get the shelves I spray painted the cut ends with clear spray paint just to seal them and I've also wired up my little um my little USB fan, um, the wire broke and I wired it back up so it works now. I mean, it's not the most aesthetic, but that is just how it's gonna have to be for now. So just hanging on the door there, 
you can see. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go in and bring my shelves in and then I will take the plants out of here, move this out of the way and then position my cabinet where it's going to go. So, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Look at this poor, pathetic excuse for a silta pecana. <laughs> it just keeps dying from root rot and this is all I have left and uh, there's no life in it. It's gone. So, that's sad. On the other hand, like, this plant is gorgeous if it'll focus on it. This plant is stunning. It's so underrated. It's a pilea something I'll insert the name um, but since being under the grow light it's put off these really beautiful dark centers of the leaves um, yeah very underrated but very very cool It's in position. When we moved in, there was a funny cabinet that was built in to the wall. So if you can see behind the cabinet, that portion of wall isn't really finished. And I wanted some sort of backing on the cabinet. I was gonna get like a cocoa, like the cocoa fibery sheet that you can get and put it there. Um, so that might be something I do at a later stage. But for now, it is just going to look like that. Um, I'm going to put some plants here to sort of hide that. But that is where it's going to live. Not too sure how the grow light is going to light this up at this stage because it used to hang from above. Um, but again, that is a problem for later me. So what I did was the doors didn't really seal um, like there was quite a big where are we? here we go Let's see focus there was quite a big gap around the doors so what I've done is I've bought some shower seal let me just show you um, yeah bought some shower seal that just clips to the glass and then it has this clear rubber flap um, so it takes up the gap when you close the door me it just takes up that little bit of gap um, and that will hopefully hold in some humidity so I've got it on this side and I've also got it on this side it is on the outside on this side but it fills up the gap I know that's not in focus but you get the gist so yeah I'm gonna put the shelves in now so that is what the shelves look like so I'll have the tall plants at the bottom and then two shelves for some shallower plants and this cabinet did have little like lugs in it already for the glass shelves um, and I'm just gonna cable tie this shelf to these lugs just to sort of stop it from moving and if I accidentally knock it it's not gonna come flying off and the plants aren't gonna go falling but yeah pretty happy with that so far So I wasn't sure if I was going to have a heat mat in it or not, but I do have this um, heat pad that I got from Bunnings like, oh god, maybe three years ago. Um, and it does fit in the bottom like pretty perfectly. Okay, so the heat mat does fit in the base like perfectly. Um, yeah, I don't really know like, because I've got a heat mat under my tank currently. Um, and we are like a week away from spring so I won't be needing it 
too much longer. But I think it'll be good to have in there. Um, and obviously I don't have to have it turned on, but I will for the next few weeks. I'm just wondering like what to put over it because I don't really want to sit my plants straight on it. Um, I do have a oven rack, like an oven, um, not an oven rack, like a cake drying rack. You know those things that you, they've got little feet and yeah. Anyway, I'm thinking I could steal that one from our kitchen and put it in there so the plants won't be sitting directly on the heat mat, but they will be just raised above it. And when we're out of lockdown, I can just buy a new one to put in here. Um, I'm actually, I might go and get it and I might see if it fits. One moment. See, this is what I mean. It's got little raised um, feet. I mean, it kind of works. Uh, let me just turn you around. See, like it kind of works. The feet are sitting on the mat, um, so the plants will be raised off the mat. That's the only solution I can think of at the moment, so. That's what we're going with. Guys, it looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Everything has fit in there perfectly. Everything is looking good. I think the Gloriosum is not going to last too long in there because it's getting too big. But yay, I am so, so happy with how it turned out. Okay, so I am so happy with how it turned out. It actually fit a lot more in it than I thought it would. Um, I didn't think it would fit everything from the tank, but it did, so I'm happy. Um, I'm obviously going to like finesse it, um, tutu around with it, see what's working, what isn't working, 
figure out the light source. Um, but for now, I think that is it for this video. So stay tuned, I will do a proper glass house cabinet tour and I will show you how everything is going, how I've finished it all. Um, I'm thinking I might keep the coffee table and put it here and fill it with plants. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have a play, but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like my channel and like my plenty content. I really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!